literally shed a small tear every time I actually see it and I stand in it and I just, I just love it so much. And I have to say, this kitchen would not be possible without the extreme generosity of a few brands out there. So I'd like to do some shout outs and today I am giving a big old shout out to Leisure. You may have actually noticed that in my old kitchen, that beautiful hob behind me was a cuisine master. So it's always been the dream to have one and my son, Damn miracle, <sighs> Leisure have gifted me this beauty. So to say thank you to the beautiful people at Leisure, I thought I'd cook you a little recipe to show just how damn good it is. This kitchen is not gas fitted, which I thought would be a big problem. I thought we'd have a big panic over it, but no, 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 no. Leisure do a range using electric. Technically a seven hob. You've got one that's got a dual action in the middle, so you can do it for big or small pans, for medium to small hobs either side. You've then got a heating plate, or this also works as like a griddle part. You can uh, heat up several pans on here. Oh, and it's so easy to function as well. Every single one has a clearly marked dial. I also have a double oven, double grill combo. You think you don't need that in your life. You do because I'm telling you right now, my dinner parties are the best dinner parties there are in existence because everyone's food is hot, the selection is broad, and frankly, I'm delivering it with a smile on my face because it's cooked in a beautiful range. I'm tearing up, you can see that, right? I'm tearing up. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm quite a messy cook. It means I spill stuff a lot, all the time, all over the shop. And actually, give me one flat surface to clean. Joyous, very happy, very happy. So today we're gonna show off its versatility in cooking multiple things at any one time. And one of those dishes that involves a bit of construction, but is probably 50% of the world's favorite. Oh no, that's a big statement to me. <sighs> it's basically one of my family favorites, lasagna. Like, you can't go wrong with a good hearty lasagna. This is not authentic. I've already had strong words from Simon, who is Italian, and it's like, Katie, that's not how we make it. And I'm like, I know, but I like to make it quick and easy. As well, you know. So I've got a nice big pan here that I'm gonna put onto our central hob. I'm gonna show you just how quickly this heats up. So if I swivel around my knob, <laughs> sorry, flick it to get the double raised on, you have no idea how hot that is. The speed of that, it's on its highest setting and that heat is instant. Pop me pan on. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of oil and I've got six rashers of smoked streaky bacon that I've just diced up. So we're gonna go in with our six rashers. And the reason we're going in with this first is to get that flavor, get the fats in there. And then I've got 800 grams good quality beef mince straight on and don't touch it. We've got a lovely bit of colour on our mince now. The reason I've kept it whole, almost like a steak, is because I like a bit of chunkiness in that. I don't like it to all peter into a big mound of sludge. So I like to keep it, like it to keep its shape a little bit. So we're keeping that heat high. Now I can slice into it and you'll see that you obviously still need to cook through that middle bit. Lush. So what we're going to do now, trying to keep as much of the juice and oil in the pan as possible. I'm just going to spoon out that meat and set it aside. Oh, I've spilled stuff on the hob. What a blooming surprise. Now into our pan, we're gonna go in with our veggies. So I'm gonna take the heat down a little bit. Into that pan, we're gonna go in with one carrot, shaved and grated, two sticks of celery, that again, have been finely grated and sliced, one onion. We're gonna go with two sprigs of rosemary that I'm just gonna strip the leaves off and then rifly, rifly dice through. And then that's gonna go into our pan too and a generous pinch of salt. The salt is gonna help all these veggies soften rather than fry. So once your veggies have softened, we're gonna crank that heat back up. And I've got here some red. I think it's a cabernet. Claret, a claret, claret, a Bordeaux. But a nice, robust, hearty red, essentially. And you wanna put a wine glass in, which I think is like, well, a wine glass for me is probably about 300 mils, but I think it's supposed to be about 175. But get that heat high, glug it in, two cloves 
of garlic that I've just finely sliced. The reason we're putting in them in now is that actually I want them to slowly soften in that wine. It becomes a lot less bitter and it just it becomes a lovely, yeah, sweet. I mean, if you slow roast a whole garlic, <gasps> you get the most beautiful sweet taste. Oh, it's a lot of liquid in my mouth. Two bay leaves as well. Once the majority of your wine has evaporated, we're gonna go in with some sun-dried tomatoes. So I've got a jar here that I've just drained and sliced up two tins of plumbed tomatoes. Always use plumbed, never chopped. I find chopped too watery. I'm gonna go in with some Liam Perrins. I'm not even gonna try and say the name because we know I can't. Two tablespoons and season it up. Salt, be generous on the pepper. Go back in with your mince Oy, and your bacon. We're now gonna leave this to blip away whilst we make our bechamel. Another pan on the stove, no problems here. Which one do I wanna choose? This one, I want this one. To it, I'm going to add 50 grams of butter. <coughs> we're gonna let that melt away. To this, we're going to add in two heat tablespoons of plain flour. Give it a stir. You're going to form a smooth paste. So you want to keep this on the heat, cooking through that flour to stop getting that grainy texture in your bechamel. Now, this is a quick and easy lasagna. So we're going to keep this as a very basic bechamel sauce. You can get all fancy schmancy and you can like infuse onion and bay leaves and peppercorns and cinnamon into your milk if you want to. <laughs> You're welcome to. I've now got some whole milk. You're gonna go in a little bit at a time, stir it through, smooth that paste out. Go again. As you gradually add it, it will thicken, but you will get to the point where it will loosen up. But if you do it gradually, it means you're not gonna get any lumps. It's gonna to continue to cook out that flour. We are going to season this up with some salt and pepper. And you're looking for double cream consistency, a thicker cream consistency. Now we're going to layer up. Our meaty mixture goes in first. Then got fresh egg pasta, egg lasagna sheets. Squidge it down. We're then gonna take our bechamel, nice big healthy ladle, get her in there. Add on a layer of cheddar cheese. Yes, that's right. We're then gonna go in with some salt and pepper, seasoning up between layers, and then the next layer. Preheated cuisine master, 180 degrees for 45 minutes, or in fact, 40 minutes, and then the last five minutes, we're gonna switch it up to the grill, and get that lovely, bubbly, gorgeous shock. Mm. What's brilliant with having multiple ovens is that I can cook things at different temperatures. So in my other oven, I'm gonna just cook off some delicious garlic bread to accompany it. Whilst that's cooking, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tidy up, believe it or not. But do you know what's brilliant? I'm not having to get into nooks and crannies of a complicated hob. I'm literally just gonna wipe it clean. You guys know me, my, me, 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 me. You guys know me by now and know then I'm gonna take pictures of this one. So I'm gonna leave her be and then tuck in here. Straight out the bowl. Hugh the Coral Angels. Thanks to the speed at which this thing heats up, it means that meal times are done in a doddle. And because we've got the different ovens with the different oven temperature variables, I can cook loads of things at the same time, which makes this even more straightforward to feed the masses. If you want to know more about Leisure and their range of cooking appliances, then make sure you check out all those links in the description box below. And for a bit more info about this particular one, I genuinely could not recommend it more. I did my research before, so as much as it was gifted, Thank you so much for watching. Mamma mia, it's so good. It's not Italiano, but it's so good.